Even residents in smaller communities are impacted by political decisions, maybe more so when it comes to city politics. Colville residents will tell you that, and they decided to do something about it. News specialist Alex Cabrero first covered a story of a controversial planned housing development, and tonight has this update. Colville has always been a place where things don't seem to be in such a rush. I think this little town is so charming. That's why Lynn Wood started the group Colville for Responsible Growth. She was worried a planned 570 luxury home housing development with 130 rental homes would change the character of Colville. Let's keep it authentic. The group recently got enough signatures to force a referendum on the city council's vote to rezone the land, which would have allowed for the development. I think people were discouraged. They felt like they weren't heard. And we tried to say, you know, your voice mattered. I don't know if they believed us. I think they believe us now. And I'm really excited about that. We'd like to develop it. And Jim Boyden's yeah. family has owned the land for generations. They're from Colville, well known in town. And although he understands the concerns, Boyden says he also cares for Colville's future. He says the development would bring in roughly 10 million new tax dollars a year to help Colville prosper. I think people are afraid of change. I think there's a fear that we'll come and run roughshod over the community and take advantage of a, of a community that has never seen anything like this before. This referendum is just the latest in Utah, the most recent being that state sales tax proposal. It could all be a sign that voters just want more of a say with certain issues. It's given the taxpayers uh, an opportunity to, to vote. Colville City Attorney Sheldon Smith says it's great for voters to have a say, but worries referendums statewide can make it difficult to get anything approved. I think that it's maybe gone beyond what was intended. If voters overturn the zoning, there is a plan B. 120 homes, which wouldn't need a rezoning, but also wouldn't bring as much tax revenue to Colville. With a reduction in density is a reduction in benefit for the community and the school districts and the fire department. Voters will make that decision this coming June. In Colville, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News.